good y'all it's your girl star alexis and i am back again with another video if you guys have seen the title then you already know that i am attempting or not even attempting i'm unboxing a new printer for you guys so i have went to walmart i was going to buy a christmas tree for my new apartment or whatever just happened to be walking around and i seen a canon printer on sale for 28 dollars um so i was like mm, yeah let me just go ahead and grab that especially because they said it was a photo printer um and i've heard that photo printer is basically the best so i figured hmm, why not try a photo printer for my labels to see if it'll print them a little bit more clear um so i'm going to basically unbox it get it all set up and stuff like that and then we'll see what the verdict is but if you are new here welcome if you're a regular what to do make sure you guys hit that subscribe button the notification bell so that you guys don't miss any future uploads but i'm going to show you guys a printer um those who know know that i have a hp 5055 printer um and that is basically my printer that i use for everything um, besides my shipping labels and then I also have HP instant ink which is it connects to my printer so whenever my printer is running low on ink it automatically charges my credit card and sends it to my house without me having to go online and order ink and stuff like that it literally gets here before my printer runs out so um, if you guys are interested in my printer that I currently have or the, signing up for the HP instant ink um, check the description box for um, links to those but <clears throat> The printer that we're talking about today that cost me $28 um, is the Canon. It's the Canon brand, but it's the Pixma MG2522. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to unbox it and we're going to see what it's talking about. So before we hop into the unboxing, I wanted to tell you guys about this cool tool that I found that's available for Chrome, Edge, Firefox, and Safari. It's called Cooper. So basically it's a automatic coupon finder so if you for an example are searching for the photo printer you type it in google all the red text you see shows you all the codes and cashback options you have so cooper actually automatically applies coupons to your order um and then also if there are cashback options available you can apply them straight from the plugin so i want to show you guys kind of like a close-up so basically when you go to the order summary um if there is any coupon codes or anything like that cooper will pop up you click apply coupons and literally it'll automatically test all the codes available even if there's 150 codes available it'll test all of them and then apply the best savings code to your order and then like i said if there's cashback available they will do that for you as well so make sure you guys check out their website and sign up and lastly i wanted to say you guys as a new user of cooper there are new member tasks that you can complete in order to get 20 dollars applied to your account so make sure you guys check the link in the description and download the plugin so, i'm really i'm not sure if it comes with the ink if it does not we may have to continue this video another day because Usually they do come with the first batch of ink, so let's hope so. But like I said, I've heard that uh, photo printers are the bomb and they get the job done. So we are gonna see if my bright idea actually is true. So we have the directions. Let's see. So it looks like the ink definitely comes. Um, it's just telling me to set everything up. Oh, geez. I haven't set up a printer in so long. All right. Um, so the first thing I see is this little brown thing here. And it says, need our help, scan here. And it sends you to some videos basically on how to set up if you're not good at reading instructions. <laughs> so we have the uh, adapter cord, the power cord. And then also we have the black ink and the color ink. All right. So this is what our printer is looking like. It looks pretty cool. Um, has a scanner at the top. Um, feed the paper down here. And then it's gonna come out of here, I think. Or is it reversed? Um, we'll figure it out. <laughs> but, <clears throat> I'm just gonna take off these little pieces of tape and stuff like that. So now it says to plug in the adapter. Plug the adapter into the back of the printer. 
all right so i'm not sure if you guys can see this but it's literally open so all i'm gonna do is put the cartilage is inside of there printer is all ready to go but i just have to go to i need to go to the site to install the software onto my computer um so that the computer and the printer will be connected the website is canon.com slash ij setup so we're gonna go there um i'm just gonna let you guys see um i'm just clicking all the setup information open now we're doing on-screen instructions united states blah 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 i don't really care for any of the scanning stuff so i'm just gonna click next because i already had that selected agree and looks like it is installing all right so i connected them with the usb cord okay so i'm gonna put some paper the page printed out and now it's telling me to scan it. So I'm gonna place it under the top. All right, y'all, so I believe I scanned it and then I just clicked something random on my computer and just clack, tried to print it on this printer. So I'm waiting to see if it actually does it. So I printed my little label to just see if it worked. So the moment of truth we've all been waiting for. Um, I'm going to get my pages together um and then i'm going to um i'm literally just going to print a label that i've already printed before just to see how well it actually prints um y'all know i make and design and print all my stuff from home which is why i was like let me get another printer just see because i don't want to stress out my one computer my one printer and then it goes bad on me so um this is just making use of labels that i have already so um this is the size of the label but i don't have the label i want to do square labels um next time for my braid spray but i didn't have any so i'm just going to continue using the ones that i have and then i'm just going to turn in designs like you know sideways and stuff like that so that um it can fit i mean because really it doesn't really matter and all i gotta do is just cut it and I have a paper cutter, so like I don't be tripping. Um, and if you guys haven't seen my full video on how I create my labels and logos and all that stuff and printing out my labels, um, make sure you guys check that out. You don't want to miss out. So I don't know what happened with this last one on this side. For some reason, it did not print out. But these ones look super clear. Now, I did adjust the wording a little bit. But I just want y'all to see how clear this one is versus this one. Because with this one, it was very hard for me to read the small writing. This one, it's like super duper clear. So I think we might be onto something. I think we really may be onto something. So this last row, I kind of just wasted only two labels since I printed two labels on one label. Not sure how that happened, but I'm going to cut these in half so that I can... Put it on to the container just so you guys can kind of see how clear um the labeling actually looks i'm like actually very very excited because you guys know that i do everything from home so it's always exciting when you can kind of up the quality of your brand from home so i'm like super duper excited i'm gonna cut these and put them on the containers i have new frosted containers so i'm just gonna Period. I know that's why. All right, so y'all see it. It looks super, super good. Um, I'm like super excited about this. So let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. So I think that my theory about the photo printer may be actually true. Um, I'm about to print out some more labels just to see um, and be able to compare as well. I'm like super excited about this one because I didn't expect it to come out that well. And I thought that maybe I was just tripping. But obviously if it's a photo printer it has to be super, super like high quality because it's going to be a photo printer um so um if you guys haven't bought yourself a printer yet or you have and you're looking to invest in another one um super cheap by the way also 
um make sure you guys check out this printer i'm like a super fan i'm like super super excited i'm like i said i'm gonna print some more labels and i'm gonna come back and show y'all and then we're gonna talk about our final thoughts. all right guys so we completed the final test um i create i uh reprinted my wraparound labels for my cream um and i just want to show you guys let me try to lay it down so you guys can actually see um the visual difference of how clear um the quality is not sure if you guys can see but to me the quality looks way better um with my cream it sometimes looks a little gritty um but with this one it's like super duper like just defined and oh, i kind of messed up on that side don't mind that <laughs> but super duper defined and easy to read you don't have to like squint your eyes at all you can't really see it on camera but this one is just a little bit more gritty than i would like um so i'm a super super fan so overall i think it's a go i think my theory is correct that photo printers definitely do give you a little bit more crisp to your labels especially if you print them from home um but if you guys have not seen my videos on how i create and design my labels and then the, also the video where i actually show you guys how i print my labels in bulk um day to day and whenever i just make new things um make sure you guys check those out i'll link those in the description box as well as somewhere on the screen just click the little i but um that is basically it for today i hope i help someone find a cheap alternative um basically to uh, get you started on printing your labels and just different things for your business um and before i end this video um i will have links to everything uh the printer and everything else that i've talked about today so make sure you guys do check out the description box at home but um i hope you guys enjoyed this video love you guys and i'll see you guys in the next one Mwah.